Welcome to New York City, financial capital of the world. Welcome to Wall Street. This is uh, the heart of American capitalism. Before I begin, a few things about the tour. One is, uh, I'm not used to the camera in front of me. One is, uh, uh, let's make this tour interactive. Feel free to ask me questions. One of the things I love the most is uh, you guys getting the aha moment. If you can walk away today with a better understanding of Wall Street, better understanding of the financial crisis, I've done my job, all right? Committee will please come to order. I will uh, start the questioning. Dr. Uh, Greenspan, I want to start with you. And my question for you is simple. Uh, were you wrong? Uh, would be sure the mic is turned on. Uh, partially, but uh, let's separate this problem into its component parts. We're talking about explaining history, major world historic events. This is as much a wealth crisis as a debt crisis. It's a problem of wages as much as investment. It's a debt crisis, but it's also very much a crisis of economic theory. I think the income distribution was the initial step in the dynamic that drove the debt crisis. It's horrifying. <laughs> I mean, th this is, you know, all the people that we trusted have turned out to be completely untrustworthy. This crisis is a total failure of markets. So it's not simple. In a short span of time, between March 2008 to September 2008, so many things happened. Fear was, was in the marketplace. And so I want to tell you, in six months, three of the top investment banks would fail. And they would tell you, top US insurance company would fail. And they would tell you, Betty and Franny, top mortgage issuers, bankrupt. Oh, Iceland, bankrupt. Bank runs around the world. If someone would tell you this will happen in short six months, you think they're crazy. But that's essentially what happened. Dr. Greenspan, you had an ideology. You had a belief that, um, that free competitive markets are by far the unrivaled way to organize economies. We've tried regulation, none meaningfully worked. That was your quote. Do you feel that your ideology push you to make decisions that you wish you had not made? Well, remember that what an ideology is, is a conceptual framework with the way people deal with reality. Everyone has one. You have to, you, to exist, you need an ideology. The question is whether it is accurate or not. And what I'm saying to you is, yes, I found a flaw. I don't know how significant or permanent it is, but I've been very distressed by that fact. You because found a flaw in a the flaw, reality? A flaw in the model that I perceived is the critical functioning structure that defines how the world works, so to speak. 